Today I'm going to try to make a rendition of an ancient concrete recipe. It's not exact, um, I don't have all the materials, but I'd like to see um, if I can get something similar. Um, so over here we have some calcium hydroxide. It's just pickling lime, um, but uh, calcium hydroxide, it um, is also known as quicklime, I believe, um, and it's uh, going to be the binding agent in the concrete. And then these are our aggregates. I have fine aggregate right here, which is actually just sifted sand. Um, and then this is the part of the sand that I sifted out. So this is gonna be the medium aggregate. And then this is crushed, um, a crushed rock, a crushed rock that was porous. Um, this will be my coarse aggregate. I have 10 grams of each, so it's just equal parts. Um, first, I'm gonna mix up the quick lime um, with some water until it's like a paste. I'll add my aggregates um, and then, of course, um, let it set. So first thing, I'll just add the quick lime. It might also be called slake lime. I can't remember exactly. There's several versions of um, lime combined with different minerals um, with different names. Um, but this uh, should form a paste. So it's pretty pasty now. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my aggregates, starting with the fine sand. I'll add all my aggregates, starting here with the fine sand. Here's the medium aggregate. And the coarse. It's starting to look more like concrete now. Uh, so we've got all those aggregates um, they're all now all suspended in the lime mixture. So the lime is sort of what binds it all together. Um, and then these aggregates make up most of the concrete. I made this very crude form um, to pour it into, um, just so that I have a bar to work with. Mm. It's kind of weird, it almost smells like modern concrete. So this isn't like Portland cement um, where it'll dry, you know, within a day. Well, not dry, it'll cure. Um, it doesn't cure that quickly. Um, it might take even a few weeks for it to fully um, cure. Um, so one concern I have is that it might dry, um, especially on the surface here. It might dry before it cures. Um, the curing is a chemical process. Uh, drying is just water evaporating out. Um, so I might leave a little bit of water on the top. Um, the water can weaken the concrete, but I'm hoping that the water won't dissolve into, this, into, the, uh, into the mixture, but rather just sit on top and stop the water from evaporating out so that, so that there's sufficient time um, for the curing to take place. I'm gonna put as little as I can though, because I really don't want it to mix. Now it's just been overnight, um, and it's pretty stiff, um, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the form. Uh, I think that it'll help get air exposed to the edges. Um, also, just, I can just pick it up. The bottom um, is also not drooping or anything. Um, I made this form pretty loose so that I can pull it out just like that, um, and it looks like a brick. Now the sides should hopefully get some more air exposure, and I'll let it cure um, a little bit longer. So it's a pretty simple recipe, um, probably uh, similar to what they may have used thousands of years ago, and um, it's holding together pretty well. I'm gonna let it sit um, probably for another week or so um, before I do testing on it, um, but I'm glad that it seems to be holding up just fine after the first, first day, um, and it looks like concrete.